Hi, I'm Max from NoCry, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the NoCry heat gun. So, as you might imagine, heat and power are probably the most important things in a heat gun. However, after a little bit of research, we found that one of the most frequent complaints about heat guns out there are exactly about these two features. There are a lot of models that lack the power and are not able to generate a sufficient airflow at each setting and thus do not reach the promised temperature, making the tool kind of useless. Now, here's why you should take care about the airflow capacity when buying a heat gun, as a greater airflow means a larger and better transfer of heat. Now, there are some competitor brands out there that mention that their heat gun uh, reaches a certain temperature level, but their model lacks a sufficient airflow coming from the gun and the promised temperature is only really achieved at the tip of the heat gun. So if you're working on a project where the object you're working with is not in direct contact with the heat gun itself, it might take you a very long time to get a job done or the heat gun might not even reach the promised temperature at all. So that's why we paid a lot of close attention and created this bad boy. It has a powerful 12.5 amp motor and we have given it two heat settings. At the lower setting it heats up air up to 662 degrees Fahrenheit and it generates an airflow of 10.6 cubic feet per minute. This is great when you need it for let's say shaping plastic tubing or welding some plastic or thawing water pipes. At the higher setting on the other hand heats up air up to 1022 degrees Fahrenheit and the airflow is at 17.7 .7 cubic feet per minute, which is significantly stronger than any other model of heat gun I tried here in the workshop. Now, the high temperature setting has you covered for projects such as soft soldering or removing paint or adhesives. When you take the heat gun out of the package, you will notice that it's quite lightweight and this is a purposeful design feature because we have given it a lightweight design and the way the weight is distributed, it sits very comfortable in your hands and you won't have to stop working or keep switching your, between your hands because your hands and arms get tired. It's very comfortable to hold, at least for me. There's another thing that might seem accidental, but is actually a design feature. See the flat back? This allows you to easily place and store the heat gun on any flat surface to let it cool down or you can also use it at full capacity when you need both your hands free, for example when bending pipes. As cherry on the cake we have included four multi-purpose nozzles to have you covered for basically any project. Do you want to remove paint or adhesives? Take this little guy. This is the white yet surface nozzle. It is designed to target the heat to the surface in a wider angle so you can melt the paint and strip it away quicker. If you need to do something around heat sensitive materials like glass, the glass protection nozzle is super handy. It lets you keep the heat away from the glass, mirror or something else if you for example need to remove paint near a window frame. This is the heat reduction nozzle and it really concentrates the heat to a smaller area so it's great for shrink wrapping, welding plastics or soldering. Last but not least is the heat reflector nozzle and it's pretty genius for heat shrinking tubes, shaping plastic PVC tubing or even thawing frozen water pipes. You see this little claw like thing? It allows for the heat to move in a circular pattern so the heat hugs the pipe all the way around and makes the work go by much quicker. Once you got your brand new tool that you really like it's super easy to get carried away with your projects and possibly overwork the device. I mean, we've all been there. This especially applies with electrical products. For example, with a heat gun, if it's been used for too long without turning it off, there is a chance that the motor might overheat and this can be a serious hazard as the heat gun can catch fire and either burn down your workshop or even your entire house. <coughs> We have made sure that nothing like that could possibly happen with a no-cry heat gun, as we have designed it to automatically shut off the heating elements if it's about to overheat. And only when it has cooled down to a safe temperature level will it start blowing hot air again. And it might sound like common sense for each heat gun model to have this feature. 
I was actually very surprised to see that some brands don't even offer this feature. Usually, when you turn on the heat gun for the first time, you can see some smoke coming out of it. Now, this is called burning in, and the length of it varies from brand to brand. It's normal when it happens, but in order to try and not set up your smoke detectors and make the first time of work much more comfortable, we have done our best to reduce the burn-in time from one to five minutes, that's normal for other brands, to only 10 seconds. So, all in all, if you need to remove paint or varnish or you have adhesive labels you want to remove, if you want to thaw pipes or gutters or even freezers, and if you want to speed dry epoxy, cement or any other damp surface, or if you have basically any project that requires heat, I really recommend and suggest checking out this NoCry heat gun. Um, you can find more information about it on the product description and in the images. And if you have any questions, go ahead and let us know. All right, I guess that's about it. Have a nice day. Bye. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. Hey guys, want some s'mores? Wagner Ferno heat guns are versatile and amazing tools, tackling and often simplifying a wide variety of projects. With several models to choose from, Wagner has the heat gun that's right for you. Wagner's Ferno 300 has temperature settings of 750 and 1100 degrees, and multiple fan speeds make it a great choice for many projects, like removing paint or varnish during furniture restoration. Move slowly across the surface, keeping the heat gun two to three inches from the paint. Scrape the bubbled paint from the flat, heated areas or use a wire brush for detail work. Staying in one spot too long could scorch or burn the wood below the paint. Use heat to shrink wrap an electrical connection. 
Hands-free operation is easy with the built-in stand on all Wagner Furno heat gun models. You can shorten the amount of time it takes for home maintenance projects like drying patching material, or simplify routine seasonal projects from insulating windows to waxing skis and more. With the Furno 500 multiple heat settings and fan speeds, finding the correct temperature for the application is easy. Thaw frozen water pipes quickly using attachments on Wagner's Furno 750, which brings 1500 watts of power and rugged durability for frequent and heavy duty use. Find more information and the right Furno heat gun for your project at wagnerspraytech.com. Introducing the Master Heat Gun, the most durable, long-lasting heat gun of its kind. Master Heat Guns are equipped with a non-slip rubber-backed base. 90-degree rotation allows for flexibility of use for many different applications. The Master Heat Gun sets itself from the pack being fully repairable. It can be used in a wide array of applications. Stripping paint, bending plastic, shrinking tubing, removing tile, defrosting pipes, and many other applications. Master heat guns reach a high temperature of 1000 degrees Fahrenheit and a high airflow rating of 23 CFM. The Master Heat Gun, a timeless classic that gets the job done fast.